Okay, so what the uh, speaker is talking about is inherent federation between the freemium or consumer uh, Skype for business and, excuse me, Skype and the paid version Office 365 Skype for business. So just so you see here, this is a paid user of Office 365. They have Skype for business. This is a Skype consumer client. This is your free, you know, Skype that you can get, download from Microsoft and you can use to chat and call your buddies and things like that. Um, and the speaker or the presenter is uh, comparing and contrasting Spark um, and and uh, Skype for Business, saying that Skype for Business and Skype Consumer do not have inherent federation uh, with each other and Spark Consumer and uh, Spark Business do. Uh, now I, 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 um, I don't agree with that and I'll show you here that it does have inherent, I'm not, there's no magic here, I didn't do any integration between uh, Skype for Business, Office 365 over here and this regular consumer um, that has a free version of Skype that anybody can download. As you can see here, I was already done a demo on this. I can do a couple things here. I'm talking to a Skype for Business user. I just looked them up in the uh, directory, and um, you can see here that uh, Anson Garcia over here. Uh, this domain is AnsonGarcia.net, and then this this guy is just a free Hotmail user. Uh, anyway, you can see that there's two-way federation uh, as far as IMMP. And um, there is also calling, so we can do a video call or an audio call uh, to these two users here. And you can see the call will come in, and they're able to uh, uh, voice and video each other. So just wanted to give you that tidbit of information, just so you don't get confused or think that these two products are different in the federation aspect.